Okay, kids, it's your turn again. We're going to teach you maybe a new one today. It's one that we just had to work through ourselves because for me, anyway, growing up in Sunday school, we did these three verses as separate songs. And so follow along as Miss Kathy leads us and Miss Karen is going to show you the motions. And uh, I look forward to seeing videos of you. Uh, I love seeing the videos every week of you singing and uh, singing and uh, playing and doing the hand motions, and uh, it's, it's a real blessing to us to see you worshiping with us. Okay, kids, we're going to pick up where we left off last week. Don't forget, let's open your Bibles, and we're going to go to the next page, okay? We're going to continue on. And just to kind of help you remember where we were, if you remember, we talked about God creating the earth, the heavens and the earth. God created the heavens and the earth. And you remember, the first thing he created was light. Now, if you remember, it was a beautiful place called paradise. Remember I showed you this picture of a place that was paradise to me growing up as a kid? This beautiful place? Actually, it was in Paradise, Pennsylvania, in the Pocono Mountains. How about that? And then we talked last week about Adam and Eve. Remember, God created Adam and Eve, and he put them in this beautiful paradise, like the picture I just showed you, the beautiful paradise. They had everything that they wanted. Now, the thing we have to remember, at that point, they had anything that they wanted to eat. They had a beautiful place to stay. There was no sickness. There was no sorrow. There was nothing. Everything was happy and joyous. And then something happened, and that's what we're going to talk about today. So let's begin reading. A place was called the Garden of Eden. And Adam and Eve were very happy. There was just one thing that God told them they must never do. They were not to eat the fruit of one special tree. The tree of the knowledge of good and evil. And if they did, God said they would die. So Adam and Eve lived as God's friends and did what he told them to do. Did what he said. But there was someone who wanted to spoil God's world. One day, as Eve was walking past this special tree, the tree of knowledge of good and evil, she heard this soft, hissing voice of the snake. How good this fruit is. Doesn't it make your mouth water? Why not try it? The fruit will make you wise. If you eat it, you will be as clever as God is. 
Eve listened to the snake's soft voice. She looked at the fruit and she forgot how good and kind God was. She wanted to be as clever as God. She wanted to do as she liked. So Eve stretched out her hand and picked the fruit. And she began to eat and she gave some to Adam. From that moment, things began to go wrong. God knew what Adam and Eve had done. No one can hide anything from him. Adam and Eve weren't God's friends anymore. And he sent them away. They had to leave the Garden of Eden where they had been so happy, where they had walked and talked with God. An angel with a sword stood guard to stop them from ever coming back. Now they had to work hard, so hard that they ached with tiredness. They learned what pain felt like, but worst of all, God's dreadful warning came true. They knew that one day when they grew old, that they would die. Remember this? That's what God put at the Garden of Eden. He put an angel there so Adam and Eve could never go back there. And from that time on, sin became part of this world. Now, Adam and Eve were the first people that God created. And that means that we are heirs of theirs. In other words, they were the very first parents. And because they were the very first and we were all created by God, they were our original parents. Everything came from Adam and Eve. And because Adam and Eve sinned, we are born into this world in sin. And once you come to the age of reckoning, in other words, once you are old enough to understand that you need to accept God's gift, God sent his son Jesus to take the penalty for our sins so that we could be forgiven, so we could be God's friends again. And once you reach that age and you say, Jesus, come into my heart, I want you to be my savior then you become a friend of God. Nothing better in this world than being a friend of God. Knowing that God is watching over you every minute of every day, every hour. And he is not going to let anything happen to you. Nothing happens that he hasn't previously ordained. And so boys and girls, always remember Do what Jesus calls us to do. Do what he needs us to do so we can say we are his friends. I love you guys. I look forward each week to sharing. And we're going to continue on now with the story of creation next week. I look forward to being here with you. God bless you.